Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to solve Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics Paper 1 Core Variant 1 1 May June 2021 from question number 11 onwards. Before we start, do subscribe to my channel and if I help you, do mention in the comment section. It motivates me to do more. Let's start. Write down the mathematical name for a polygon with five sides. Five sides is a pentagon. Next, work out the interior angle of a regular 18-sided polygon. For this, you need to know the rule. This is the formula we use. N minus 2 multiplied by 180 over N. N is the number of sides in this case. It is 18. So 18 minus 2 multiplied by 180 divided by 18. All the formulas, write it down on one paper at the end of the book or somewhere where you can easily go through. The answer is 160. Question number 12. The nth term of a sequence is 6n minus 4. Write down the first three terms in this sequence. Very easy. Just replace the n with 1. So 6 times 1 minus 4. You just put in the calculator like this. You will get 2. Then replace your uh, n with 2. So it will be 6, 2 minus 4. This will give us 8. And the third one we are going to do is 6, 3 minus 4, which will give us 14. In part B, the k term of this sequence is 422. Work out the value of k. It means in place of n, we write k. And make this equation equal to 422. This is a negative 4. When you shift to the other side, it will be a positive 4. Sorry, this is a k. So k is equal to 426 and divide it by 6. Just put in the calculator and you will get 71 as your k. Question number 13, the radius of a circle is 42 centimeter. Work out the circumference of the circle. Give your answer in terms of pi. To find the circumference, we use the formula 2 pi r. Replace your r with 42. Multiply the numbers, 2 multiplied by 42, you will get 84 pi. That's your answer. Moving on to question number 14. Change 680,000 cubic meter in a uh, centimeter into cubic meter. To change from centimeter to meter, we divide by 100. Whenever the small unit you change it to the bigger unit, you always divide. So this is centimeter to meter, we divide by 100, but it is to the power of 3 cubic, so we divide it 3 times. And that will give us the answer 0 0.68 cubic meter. Question number 15. The length L meters of a piece of rope is 5.675, correct to the nearest centimeter. Complete the statement about the value of L. Whenever you have a question like that, just write the number and add a zero to it. And think that you are replacing uh, how many numbers are there. So you will have 0, 0.00 and then 5, right? Replace the zero with 5. One time you add this number to your number before. So you will get 5.675. And the other time you subtract from this number and it will give you 5.665. So one time you add, one time you subtract. Question number 16. Without using a calculator, work out 1, 3 over 8 minus 5 over 6. In the calculator, we will use the calculator but show that we are not using it. Press shift and the fraction button so you will get three boxes replace with one three and eight you will get 11 over eight this is one way of using your calculator to change the mixed fraction to improper fraction the other way is eight multiplied by one plus three eleven so eleven 
over 8 minus 5 over 6. Whenever you have a fraction and uh, it's a plus or a minus, you need to have a common denominator. The easiest way to do that is if you have a 6 multiplied by 6 in the numerator and the denominator and this side multiply by 8. Don't put everything in the calculator together one by one because we have to show that we are not using the calculator. Put in the calculator 11 multiplied by 6, you will get 66. 5 multiplied by 8, 40. And then multiply 8 by 6. After that, put in the calculator 66 minus 40 and you will get 26 over 48. Now put this in the calculator and you will get 13 over 24. This is our final answer. Question number 17. Write 1 over 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 as a power of 2. So how many 2's are there? There are 5 2's. So we write 2 to the power of 5. When you bring this up, the sign will change. So it will become the power sign will change. 2 to the power of negative 5. In B1, we have to find the value of t. You need to know the exponent rules or indices rule. Suppose you have x to the power of a divided by x to the power of b. It means that we can write it as a minus b. So we can write this as 3 to the power of 18 minus t is equal to 3 to the power of 6. If the base is same, they cancel each other out. We are left with the equation 18 minus t is equal to 6. Shift the t here to make it positive because that's what you want to find. And the 6, this side, the sign will change. 18 minus 6 is equal to t. So 12 is equal to t. The next one is simplify. First multiply 8 by 6 using the calculator. And again the exponential rules. If we multiply and the base is same, we add the powers. So it will be 10 plus 5, 15. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Do share the video, like the video. Thank you for watching. For question number 18, please watch the next part.